Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Eileen. I'm working on a really quick embellishment box. The correct measurement that you will need is a piece of paper about seven and three quarters inch wide by four and one fourth inch. So seven and three quarters, it's an odd number, but seven and three quarters by four and a quarter. Okay. And now I'm just taking my old scrap so that I can see where I scored my previous paper. Let me turn it this way. And I think I scored it at three quarters inch. Yep. Three quarter inch from the edge. We are scoring on the four and one fourth side. Okay. And I'm using single sided paper. Whoops. Because you're not going to see any of this. So it does not matter. Now this one I measured, uh, I think it was, yep, three quarter inches. So let's see, how did I do that? I want to, there we go. I'm going to score at the four inch mark and the three, whoops, three and one fourths and then at the four inch. So three and a quarter inches, score that. And then at the four inch, score that. And that will give us our little spine. Let me show you what it looks like for now, right now. So we got this going. This is gonna hold our suitcase in place. And then this is gonna fold over the spine. I'm going to cover that right there. Okay. And this one is a uh, I think this is at a half inch. Let me see. Might as well just fold it, Eileen. Get it over with. Get it out of the way and we can see the spine. There we go. It's not completely straight. All right, I take that. And then this piece, just marking where it needs to fold because the, there's a latch on here. So I want to make sure there's room for it to slide in, in and out freely. Okay, so I'm going to score. I think this is like a half inch. Is that the one inch? No, seven eighths. Seven eighths inch. Guys, I'm just making this as I go. Okay, so <laughs> this is the first time I'm making one. And I know there's a bunch of tutorials out there. I know, but you know, spur the moment. Might as well record it and get it done, right? So, it's not hard. Just want to make it quick. <laughs> All right, to fold our bottom edge. Basically, making a pocket. Okay, this way. So I'm gonna cut this one. There, there. I never claim to be an expert. Just make what I make, that's all. I just make what I make. <laughs> um, I'm gonna cut this one, I'm gonna cut this here. All right, and then I'm gonna cut this one, and cut this one. There, and I think I need to, let's see, what is the measurement? That's about 3 fourths inch. I'm gonna line that to the 3 fourth inch mark, right, like that, and I'm gonna cut off this excess. And there's our edge. Like that. And take these down and take this part down. All right, really easy. How you make buses? All right, and we're done. Another little box, and I forgot about this side. <clears throat> ay, 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 ay. How did I do that? Guys, there's a will, there's a way, so I'm making my way. Okay, just make sure I get this off the grid. Cutting that. Okay, that's it. There's our box, our little tiny box, and our embellishments box will go in here. Wait, oh my gosh, it's upside down. <laughs> it's upside down, guys! Oh my gosh! I wasn't supposed to make this box. <laughs> That's what the world is telling me. The universe is telling me. You weren't supposed to make this box. <laughs> okay. All right. It is what it is, guys. Just like that. And I'll put some little, um, what do you call that, dangly things here. Bathing suits are just upside down. 
so messed up. It's okay. It's okay. Right? That's fine. All right, so that's my little sleeve for my box. I'm gonna move this out of the way. Let me get through life. <laughs> All right, so the next thing we're going to do, we're gonna fill our little box up in here with some goodies. It's most likely gonna be beads and itty bitty flowers. Yes, I am gonna put some flowers in here. Just itty bitty flowers. Making this harder than it should be. Let's put it in this compartment, okay? something I thought of you, you know, that kind of thing, thinking of you, kind of sort of thing. Oh, get out of there, put that in there. I think these are cute, whoops. Okay, Oof, that's hard to open. Put some more flowers in there, just different kinds of, you know, just little tiny flowers. Okay, I do. All right, load this little baby up and get a spoon. And let's see, this is Picnic from Tuesday morning. I'm just gonna break up some of the sequins because they're all stuck to each other. This one has little flowers and there's blue, there's stars, there's red. And let me see what else is in here. These are like surprises because they're so cute and tiny. So I'm just gonna give her a little Picnic sequin mix and it's gonna be full. Oh, really? I'm not good at these. Oh, they have red hearts in here. They're like, uh, little gemmy gems. Let me see if I can find one. They're flat back gems. I don't know if you guys can see all that. They're really, um, like crystals, not crystals. They're just flat backs. That's why I was like, stir it up. There's even an apple. I think I'll, it's very cute. Now I hope it fits in that little pocket. <laughs> I'm gonna it a little too chunky. It'll fit. It'll fit. We're gonna make it fit. Oh, it fit. Yes. It fit. It fit. <laughs> guys, I'm so silly. I'm sorry. All right. Look at that. Oh, yes. Right? Very cute. Okay, I'm not done adding stuff in there. Oh, that was hard. Okay, so I added a little trim, and I'm gonna add a little bit of my heart beads that I just picked up from Amazon. I'm just gonna add it in there. It's okay, because it'll smash down. I'm gonna add in a few stars, star beads. Oh. Just gotta place it in there somehow, some way, every now and then. Isn't that cute? Oh yeah, that's cute. I'm just gonna stick them in the flowers like that. I wanna get more of the color in there. Do some pop dots here. I'm use some of this foam from the pop dots. Gonna fit. Make it fit. Okay. Add some of that. Add some of that. Don't throw that sticky foam away. It's still sticky foam. This is perfect. Can make sure it faces the right way. I don't know what time we got on that clock. So I'm just gonna go with it. Okay. That's okay. That's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. Cut this off here. Cut this off here. Look at these. I'm gonna use this one behind the green. Oops. Put this behind the green. Can you stick it like that? Sorry, guys. This is just an impromptu thank you gift to somebody. And then we're gonna add this one. Or should we just add it like that? That. Didn't put any glue on here yet. That's hot. <laughs> that is hot. I have to find a sentiment to go with this. It pretty much disguises the fact that our bathing suits were upside down. Okay. <clears throat> so we're gonna add this one right there. Cut this up. This big enough. This big enough. Squash it on there. Squash these two together. Don't throw this foam away. <laughs> This is perfect. Works to lift our dimensions up. Oof. Yep, there it is. Okay. There we go. Use every bit of your foam, sticky foam. All right, now we need a word of some sort. Oh, I wish that was smaller. What about summer vibes or vacation or summertime? Let's do. How about. You stick that there, and then we use summertime. Yeah, like that. Summertime. Okay, I like that. Touch of black. Okay, put 
some hot glue just to make sure we get it on here. I like that. I like colors, you know, it's not everybody's style, but when you craft sometimes, especially if it's a thank you or just thinking of somebody, it's okay to style the, the project in what you like too, you know? People um, could learn what you like by doing it that way. So I think that's good. Just gotta get the hot glue stuff off of it. All right. And now I want to put some trim. The yellow, not this one, because I see it doesn't go. Let's do some yellow. And this yellow. Yep, I like this, I like this. And I also like this. Because I'm gonna stick that on there anyway. Because <laughs> that's what I like. And my finger is gonna be hot. Jesus. There we go. Oh, well, actually, it wasn't too bad. It's very good. I love it. My style is not everybody's style, and that is okay. That is okay, guys. Okay. I'm gonna go with this much, okay? okay let's do a marathon. <laughs> okay, pink and yellow. Look at that. It's so cute. Too cute. Too cute. And then add some of this pearl. Doesn't even matter. It looks like pink lemonade, guys. It looks like pink lemonade. That's what it looks like to me. All right. Interpretation. Pink lemonade. <laughs> so I'm gonna cut that in cut that in half. Just like that. <clears throat> put this through here. Put this through here. Oh lord. <laughs> Trying to get everything quick. Quick fast and in a hurry. Alright, and then I'm going to make a belt for it. <laughs> if that's what it's even called. Just to keep it together. You know? Isn't that cute. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Stay. It's not even where I want it. Oh my god. Okay. It's getting there, guys. It's getting there. Okay. It's just keeping it all tidy, you know? Okay, the plastic rubber thingy is getting in my way. So I'm going to go around, make it tight, make it tight, make it tight, make it tight. I like making things difficult for myself, don't I? <laughs> Alright, let's see. There we go. I'll just let it sit for a minute. <laughs> now we're done. Okay. So I will take a little lighter. And burn that end in, and it should be should be good to go. Okay. Now we got the pre side. See? Isn't that pretty? Oh, the blue strings. I think it's cute. Pink and yellow. Pink and yellow. <laughs> okay. Now I want to make a little tiny bow. <laughs> a little tiny bow. Let's let's see. I'll put this up in between my fingers. I have enough to tie it. I'm wrapping it once, twice, three times, and then I'm coming up between my fingers. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to try to cut with my left hand again. Mm. Um, not happening. Tie knot with one hand, guys. <laughs> with two fingers. Okay. We'll leave out. Leave out. Just a little awkward a little bit. <laughs> I did this on live. Elizabeth has a DIY, I mean a a tutorial how to do this the right way <laughs> without tying yourself up and i just busted it okay i'm gonna slide it back through here they saw they also said use a fork to make this bow which i agree a fork would probably be better than your fingers <laughs> all right there we go now we have a knot okay and then the hard part would be to take it off your fingers and make a knot patience is a virtue not everybody can obtain <laughs> and i'm one of them there we go it's tight enough I don't know why I'm liking these bows, but they're cute. Oh, I just pulled the bow through. Like that. Okay. And you can fluff it and fluff it all day long. Okay. I'm just pulling it tighter. Sorry, I got quiet. I was trying to concentrate on what I was trying to do. Okay, there we go. There it is, and I'm done. I'm done nothing fiddling with it. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to take it and glue it right to the front. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. All right, guys. That's all I'm going to do with that little bow. I'll just trim out the ends and burn our ribbon. Burn the ones that will fray because they will fray. Okay. That's it. That's all, guys. That's all I've got now. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you all on my next video. I hope to see you guys there. This is what I've got. And give this video a thumbs up. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And thank you again. Bye.